Welcome back to the PNN Project Channel. Today we're moving from snakes and going to hockey. Hockey. So practicing stick handling, you can buy some expensive uh, tools uh, from CCM. They're between $100, $120 for stick handling. We're going to show you how to do these on the cheap. So you want my sticks there for a minute, P-Man Sam? Sure. We're going to end up making these guys here, and we're going to show you how to make them and uh, what we do with them. So here we go. Uh, as a first step. Uh, what you need to do to make some of these, you need to go to the ice arena and you need to find some broken hockey sticks. You play hockey, you're always able to find broken hockey sticks. So um, I always tell people on my team, if you see broken hockey sticks, give them to me. So we're going to go here now and show you how to uh, make these, these guys. All right, next, next step for making our stick handling obstacles are uh, to take our broken stick. You can pass that in here if you want, Sam. There you go, bud. And what we're going to do is we're just going to make a little bit of a mark here. It doesn't have to be so precise, just so we know we're, uh, we're roughly the same size. So I'm just going to come in here and make a little score like that. Now what we're going to do is just use my vice grip. And normally I use a chop saw, but my, uh, my chop saw is out on loan right now. So when all else fails, Sawzaw it. Boom. Cut it in half. Now we got the stick. Again, no charge. Found broken hockey sticks at the ice rink. Cut it down to length. Um, if you're interested, these are about 30 inches. Make a little longer, a little shorter, depending on what you want to do. You can have some different sizes. But we're going to go in the basement now and let's uh, finish these up. All right, P Man Sam. Last step of our hockey stick, stick, stick handling. I'm relieved. Long night, isn't it? Yeah. So what you're going to need for this, we're going to hopefully end up with this here. We and need. What do we need? Four hockey, ice hockey, black pucks, or you can get blue pucks. Any type of ice hockey pucks will work. And uh, if you want, you can use three on each side to make it. Stand up a little bit. So Did you, we cut this already, but you need a broken stick, a cut broken stick, and then and you need a drill to drill these and screws and stuff. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line these pucks up on the end, try to get them centered. And you don't have to drill first, but we're going to. That helps out a little bit. So I got my drill here. We're going to go two holes on each side. If you can, you want to try to not move these like I just did. Uh, Keep the holes lined up, but you're mainly going through the wood, so or carbon. That's fine. These are two and a half inch drywall screws. So these are our drill here. We want to put a little pressure down on the stick when you're screwing, so the pucks don't catch and turn. You don't need to over tighten them. the other side. Like I said, you can buy these for about a hundred bucks or you can look for some broken hockey sticks and usually you can even find some hockey pucks around the ice arena and make them yourself.
So nothing too special, nothing too durable. But low cost. And it's a uh, good way to practice your sick hand on Bean Man's time. It's going to be used them all the time at practice. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody have a good day. Don't forget to uh, thumbs up and subscribe. We've got some tractor videos coming. Leave a comment down below. Yeah, leave a comment down below. All right, have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye.